Hello everyone, my name is Stacy Hewen, and today I will be reading the Wikipedia article for Sebastian Vettel, dated November 27th, 2022. This article is being read verbatim, with no opinion or commentary added. Sebastian Vettel, German pronunciation, Sebastian Vettel, born 3 July 1987 is a German racing driver who competed in Formula One from 2007 to 2022 for BMW Sauber, Toro Rosso, Red Bull, Ferrari, and Aston Martin. Vettel is one of the most successful drivers in Formula One history and has won four World Drivers' Championship titles, which he won consecutively from 2010 to 2013. Vettel holds the record for being the youngest world champion in Formula One. He also has the third most race victories, 53, and podium finishes, 122, and fourth most pole positions, 57. Vettel started his Formula One career as a test driver for BMW Sauber in 2006, making a one-off racing appearance in 2007. As part of the Red Bull Junior team, Vettel appeared for Toro Rosso later that year and was kept as a full-time driver for 2008. Vettel was promoted to Red Bull in 2009. With Red Bull, Vettel won four consecutive titles from 2010 to 2013, the first of which made him the sport's youngest world champion. In 2013, he set the record for the most consecutive race wins with nine. Vettel signed for Ferrari for 2015, replacing Fernando Alonso, and became Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton's closest challenger in two title fights in 2017 and 2018, although he finished both years as a runner-up. He parted ways with Ferrari at the end of the 2020 season to race with Aston Martin for the 2021 and 2022 seasons before retiring from Formula One at the end of the 2022 season. Early and Personal Life Vettel was born on 3 July 1987 in Heppenheim, West Germany, to Norbert and Heike Vettel. He has one younger brother, Fabian, a racing driver, and two older sisters, Melanie, a dental technician, and Stephanie, a physiotherapist for disabled children. Vettel suggested in an interview that he was terrible at school, but he passed his abitur at Heppenheim's Starkenberg Gymnasium with a respectable grade. His childhood heroes were the three Michaels, Michael Schumacher, Michael Jordan, and Michael Jackson. He mentioned that he wanted to be a singer like Jackson, but realized that he did not have the voice. Vettel is also a fan of the Beatles, collecting several records, including Abbey Road and his favorite song being Drive My Car. In an interview on Top Gear, he stated that he is a fan of British comedy such as Little Britain and Monty Python's Life of Brian. Vettel lives in Thurgovia, Switzerland, amongst other racing drivers, and is a fan of German football team Eintracht Frankfurt. Vettel has described himself as competitive, private, and impatient. He also appeared in advertisements for Head & Shoulders, and provided the voice of character Sebastian Schnell in the German version of the movie Cars 2. Vettel married childhood friend Hannah Prater at a private ceremony in early 2019, and they have three children. In 2016, Forbes estimated that his annual income was $41 million. Kimi Raikkonen, his teammate from 2015 to 2018, is a close friend. Besides his native German, Vettel speaks English, French, Finnish, and Italian. In July 2022, he created his Instagram account, having long eschewed social media. Vettel's first Instagram post was to announce his retirement from Formula One at the end of the 2022 season. Early Career Vettel began karting at the age of three and began racing in karts series in 1995 at the age of eight. He was accepted into the Red Bull Junior Team in 1998 and won various titles such as the Junior Monaco Kart Cup in 2001. Vettel was promoted to open wheel cars in 2003 and was given a chance by Derek Walker to test a Raynard Motorsport Champ car in a two-day private test at the Homestead Road Course. A year later, he won the 2004 Formula BMW ADAC Championship with 18 victories from 20 races. Vettel drove for ASL Mucke Motorsport in the 2005 Formula 3 Euro Series. He was placed 5th in the final standings with 63 points and won the Rookie Cup. He tested for the Williams Formula 1 team later that year as a reward for his Formula BMW success. Vettel then went on to test for the BMW Sauber Formula 1 team. 
Vettel was promoted to test driver for BMW Sauber in 2006 and participated in the 2006 Formula 3 Euro Series, finishing as runner-up. He also competed in the 2006 Formula 3.5 Series, where he finished first and second at Misano in his first two races. In the next round at Spa-Francorchamps, his finger was almost sliced off by flying debris following an accident, and he was expected to be out for several weeks. Nevertheless, he managed to compete in the 2006 Masters of Formula 3 at Zandvoort the following weekend where he finished 6th place. Vettel competed in the 2007 Formula Renault 3.5 series and took his first win at the Nürburgring. He led the championship when he was called up permanently by the BMW Sauber Formula 1 team. Formula 1 career BMW Sauber, 2006-2007 Test driver and debut Vettel became BMW Sauber's third driver at the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix when former incumbent Robert Kubica replaced Jacques Villeneuve as second driver for the 2006 Hungarian Grand Prix. On his testing debut, Vettel set the fastest time in the second Friday free practice. Vettel became the then-youngest Formula One driver to participate in a Grand Prix weekend at 19 years and 53 days. He also set a record for collecting his first line in 9 seconds into his career, as Vettel exceeded the pit lane speed limit on the way to the track. In his second testing session at the 2006 Italian Grand Prix, he set the fastest time in both Friday practice sessions. Vettel was confirmed as BMW's test driver for 2007. Following Kubica's crash at the 2007 Canadian Grand Prix, Vettel was named his replacement at the 2007 United States Grand Prix. He started in 7th position and finished in 8th to become the then-youngest driver to score a point in Formula 1. Toro Rosso, 2007-2008 Youngest pole sitter and first race win BMW released him in July 2007 to join Red Bull's Scuderia Toro Rosso, replacing Scott Speed from the 2007 Hungarian Grand Prix onwards, as Vettel was already under contract to Red Bull Racing. It was also announced that he would drive for Toro Rosso in 2008 alongside Sebastian Bourdais. In the rain-affected Japanese Grand Prix at Fuji, Vettel worked his way up to third, behind Lewis Hamilton and Red Bull Racing's Mark Webber, and seemed to be on course for his and the team's maiden podium finish. However, Vettel crashed into Weber under safety car conditions, forcing both cars to retire. Weber said after the race, It's kids, isn't it? Kids with not enough experience. You do a good job and then they fuck it all up. Vettel was initially punished with a 10-place grid penalty for the following race, but this was lifted after a spectator video on YouTube showed the incident may have been caused by Hamilton's behavior behind the safety car. Vettel finished a career-best fourth a week later at the Chinese Grand Prix, having started 17th on the grid while in mixed conditions. He was tipped by Red Bull owner Dietrich Mateschitz as one of the sport's big future stars. Vettel is one of the young guys with extraordinary potential. He is fast, he is intelligent, and he is very interested in the technical side. After four races of the 2008 season, Vettel was the only driver to have failed to finish a single race having retired on the first lap in three of them. At the Monaco Grand Prix, Vettel scored his first points of the season with a fifth-place finish after qualifying 17th. Toro Rosso's technical director, Giorgio Ascanelli, explained that something changed at the European Grand Prix in Valencia. Suddenly, Vettel understood something about how to drive an F1 car quickly. It made a huge difference, not only to the speed he could unlock, but also to his ability to do so consistently. At the wet Italian Grand Prix, Vettel became the youngest driver in history to win a Formula 1 Grand Prix, aged 21 years and 74 days. He led for the majority of the Grand Prix and crossed the finish line 12.5 seconds ahead of McLaren's Heike Kovalainen. It would also be Toro Rosso's only win. Earlier in the weekend, he had already become the youngest pole sitter. Toro Rosso team boss Gerhard Berger said, As he proved today, he can win races, but he's going to win world championships. He's a cool guy. His victory led the German media to dub him Baby Shumi. Vettel was named 2008 Rookie of the Year at the Auto Sports Awards. Red Bull, 2009 to 2014, 2009 to 2010, championship runner-up and youngest world champion. At the start of the 2009 season, Vettel replaced the retired David Coulthard at Red Bull Racing. He began strongly at the Australian Grand Prix, running in second for the majority of the race. 
However, a clash with Robert Kubica over second place in the latter stages forced both to retire. He went on to take pole position and the race win at Chinese Grand Prix. Red Bull Racing's maiden pole and win. Further wins followed in Great Britain, Japan, and Abu Dhabi. He won the Japanese Grand Prix from pole position, leading every lap. Vettel won the inaugural Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the first ever day-night race, to finish second in the World Drivers' Championship standings behind Jensen Button. He also scored his third fastest lap of the year, drawing him level with teammate Mark Webber. However, as Vettel had more second fastest laps, he won the 2009 DHL Fastest Lap Award. Vettel took the first pole position of the 2010 season at the Bahrain Grand Prix. He led most of the race, but as a result of a spark plug failure, Vettel finished in fourth place. At the Australian Grand Prix, Vettel was appointed as a director of the Grand Prix Drivers Association. He took his first win of the season in Malaysia. In Monaco, Vettel made it a Red Bull 1-2 with him second and Weber first. Both were equal on points in the standings with Weber first based on total wins. At the Turkish Grand Prix, Vettel was running second behind Weber when he made a passing move on his teammate. The two collided, putting Vettel out of the race, with neither driver accepting responsibility for the collision. At the British Grand Prix, both Vettel and Weber's cars were fitted with a new front wing design. Vettel's wing was damaged in the third practice session, and Weber's sole surviving example was removed and given to his teammate. Vettel qualified in first place but suffered a puncture. He finished seventh while Weber took the victory. In Japan, he qualified on pole ahead of Weber and went on to win with a lights to flag victory. Aged 23 years and 98 days, Vettel became the youngest Grand Prix driver to win at the same track on two occasions. At the inaugural Korean Grand Prix, Vettel led the first 45 laps before retiring with engine failure, handing victory to championship rival Fernando Alonso. With the 1-2 finish at the Brazilian Grand Prix, Vettel and Weber secured Red Bull Racing's first World Constructors' Championship. Vettel went into the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi with a 15-point deficit to Alonso and a 7-point gap to Weber. He won the Grand Prix from pole to become the youngest World Drivers' Champion in the sport's history, as Alonso only finished in 7th place. Following John Surtees in the 1964 season and James Hunt in 1976, this was the first time in Formula 1 history that the title winner had not topped the championship table until after the last race. 2011-2012 Successful title defenses, most poles in a season. Vettel started the 2011 season with wins in Australia and Malaysia before a second-place finish at the Chinese Grand Prix due to poor tire management, possibly related to his inability to properly communicate with his team as his radio was broken. In Monaco, Vettel led the race, but due to another radio malfunction, the Red Bull pit crew was not prepared when he came in. The pit stop was slow and he was sent out on the wrong tires, handing the lead to Button. Vettel switched to a one-stop strategy and stuck with one set of soft tires for 56 laps. He was caught by Alonso and Button as his tires deteriorated, but neither were able to pass him. The race was red flagged with few laps remaining, which allowed teams to change their tires when the race was restarted under the safety car. Vettel was able to retain the lead and win. At the European Grand Prix, the Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile, FIA, enforced a ban on engine mappings. It was believed by some in the press that this was an attempt by the FIA to thwart Vettel's early domination. Nevertheless, he took pole with the fastest qualifying lap in Valencia Street Circuit's history. Vettel dominated with his first hat trick of 2011 and won his sixth race out of eight. The FIA implemented another rule change at the British Grand Prix targeting the blown diffusers. Red Bull believed the changes would cost them about a half a second per lap. During the race, Vettel held off Weber for second place who ignored a radio message from team principal Christian Horner to hold position. It was only the second time in the sports history that a driver had finished second or higher in each of the first nine races of a season and won at least six of them. Vettel's run of 14 successive front row starts and 11 successive top two finishes ended at his home race where he qualified third and finished fourth. In Italy, he took his 10th pole position of the year, in which he joined Ayrton Senna as the only driver to have taken 10 pole positions in two separate seasons.
A podium finish in Japan secured his second successive title with four races remaining, making him the youngest ever double and back-to-back -back champion. Vettel won the following race in Korea to become the second driver to take at least 10 wins in a season after Michael Schumacher. He also helped to secure Red Bull's second successive World Constructors' Championship. Vettel took his 11th victory of the season in the inaugural Indian Grand Prix, leading every lap from pole position, as well as setting the race's fastest lap to claim his first Grand Slam. Vettel broke the record for the most pole positions in a season at the season finale in Brazil after he clinched his 15th pole of the year. He completed the year with 15 poles, 11 victories, and 17 podiums from 19 races. Vettel also earned a record total of 392 points. Vettel started the 2012 season with a second place at the Australian Grand Prix before he finished outside the points in Malaysia following a collision with backmarker Narain Karthikian. Vettel and Horner criticized Karthikian's driving, with Vettel calling him an idiot and a cucumber. Karthikian hit back, calling Vettel a crybaby. Vettel crossed the line in first place at the Bahrain Grand Prix to go top of the championship standings. Three races without a podium place followed before he retired at the European Grand Prix after an alternator failure, dropping him to fourth in the standings. In Germany, Vettel finished second behind Alonso but received a 20-second time penalty after the race as he was off the track when he overtook Button. Vettel dropped back to fifth. He started in 10th place but finished second in Belgium to climb up to second place in the championship. Vettel then retired at the Italian Grand Prix due to an alternator failure, which saw the gap to leader Alonso grow to 39 points with seven races remaining. He won next race in Singapore, as he kept the lead until the two-hour race limit was reached. At the Japanese Grand Prix, he took his second career Grand Slam, and coupled with Alonso's retirement, he cut the gap down to just four points. After winning at the Korean Grand Prix, the Indian Grand Prix got another victory, as Vettel topped all three practice sessions before taking pole position and leading every lap of the race to win. During qualifying at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Vettel was told to stop the car due to a fuel pump issue. He was forced to start from the pit lane. From last place, Vettel fought his way back to finish in third place. He started the last race in Brazil with a 13-point cushion against Alonso. On the opening lap, Vettel spun after an incident with Bruno Senna, Following changing weather conditions, Vettel climbed up to finish in 6th place to win the championship by 3 points and to become the youngest ever triple world champion. He also became the third driver to acquire 3 consecutive championships after Juan Manuel Fangio and Schumacher. 2013-2014 to Quadruple world champion, 9 wins in a row, and departure from Red Bull. Vettel started the first two races of the 2013 season on pole position, and at the Malaysian Grand Prix, he lapped over 2.5 seconds faster than teammate Weber in qualifying during a wet session. He won the race, though not without controversy. Vettel ignored the team orders and passed Weber for the lead. Weber was furious after the race and said that Vettel will have protection as usual and that's the way it goes. Team Principal Horner, although unhappy with Vettel's actions, pointed out that Weber had defied team orders on several previous occasions. He acknowledged that the already fragile relationship between the two drivers had further broken down as a result of the incident. Vettel claimed that he was not sorry for winning and that if the situation presented itself again, he would have passed Weber despite the order, adding that he felt Weber did not deserve to win the race. Following wins in Bahrain and Canada, his championship lead was cut at the British Grand Prix as he was denied a likely win due to gearbox failure. Vettel bounced back to win his home race in Germany for the first time after he finished third in Hungary. Vettel won the last nine races of the season, including Grand Slams in Singapore and Korea. Vettel set the record for most consecutive race wins with nine, and he became the only the third man after Alberto Ascari and Jim Clark to take consecutive Grand Slams. He sealed his fourth world title at the Indian Grand Prix. On several occasions during the season, spectators booed Vettel. Although the booing was widely condemned by fellow drivers, the media, and others in the paddock, Vettel revealed that it had a negative impact on him. For the 2014 season and beyond, drivers picked a unique car number to use for the remainder of their Formula 1 career. Vettel chose the number 5. However, as reigning world drivers champion, he carried number 1 throughout the season. Weber left the sport and was replaced by Daniel Ricciardo, who was promoted from Toro Rosso. 
Vettel struggled with reliability issues throughout winter testing, which forced him to retire at the opening Australian Grand Prix. Reliability problems also forced Vettel to retire at the Monaco and Austrian Grands Prix. Vettel qualified on the front row for the two races in Malaysia, Great Britain, and Hungary, and finished on the podium in Malaysia, Canada, Singapore, and Japan. After the Russian Grand Prix, he had been outqualified by a teammate over a season for the first time in his Formula One career. In addition to suffering reliability problems, throughout 2014, Vettel struggled to get to grips with the Red Bull RB10 and the Pirelli tires. He signed off the year by becoming the first defending champion to fail to win a race during a season since Jacques Villeneuve in 1998. In October, Red Bull had announced that Vettel would be leaving the team at the end of the season to join Scuderia Ferrari one year before his contract was due to expire. Vettel replaced Alonso and partnered his friend Kimi Raikkonen. Vettel mentioned he would like to drive for Ferrari at some point in his career and was already rumored in 2012 to have a non-binding pre-contract with options to join them in 2014. He was denied an early release from his Red Bull contract to test the 2014 Ferrari car in Abu Dhabi. In spite of this, Vettel was present at the Ferrari test, although not driving the car, but Red Bull did not enforce any sanctions. Vettel instead made his first appearance in November, completing nearly 100 laps in the 2012 car around the test track of Fiorano. Ferrari, 2015-2020 2015-2016, returning to the top step, a threat to Mercedes. Vettel made his Ferrari debut by finishing third in the Australian Grand Prix. He followed that up with winning the Malaysian Grand Prix, his first race victory for over a year, and the first win for Ferrari for almost two years. After the race, an emotional Vettel paid tribute to Schumacher, saying that his hero's achievements with Ferrari made the first win all the more special. He won the Hungarian Grand Prix to remain a championship contender after he started from third on the grid. He dedicated his victory to the driver's Jules Bianchi, who died the week prior from injuries sustained in 2014. At the halfway point of the season, Vettel was 42 points behind championship leader and Mercedes driver Hamilton. Vettel was in third place in Belgium when his right rear blew at high speed on the penultimate lap, likely ending any title chances given Hamilton's win. After the race, he ranted about the unacceptable and unsafe Pirelli tires that could have caused him serious injury. Vettel came home second in the Italian Grand Prix, his first race with Ferrari at the team's home soil. He then took his first pole with the team at the Singapore Grand Prix. Ferrari's first pole for three years. Vettel went on to win the race, and with Hamilton retiring, he closed to within 49 points with seven races remaining. Vettel ended the season in third place, however, with three wins and 13 podiums, he declared the season as a miracle. After a third place finish at the 2016 Australian Grand Prix, Vettel's participation in Bahrain ended without starting as his car broke down on the formation lap. At the Chinese Grand Prix, Vettel collided with teammate Raikkonen on the first lap, but both were able to continue. He blamed Red Bull driver Daniel Kvyat for the collision, labeling him a madman and described the overtaking maneuver as suicidal. At the Russian Grand Prix, Vettel retired on the first lap after two consecutive collisions with Kvyat. At the Mexican Grand Prix, Vettel attempted to overtake Red Bull driver Max Verstappen, but after Verstappen ran off the track and rejoined ahead of him, Vettel verbally attacked him and the race director of Charlie Whiting, for which he later apologized. Vettel then blocked Red Bull's Ricardo by moving in the braking zone and was given a 10-second penalty and two points on his license. Although he achieved seven podium finishes during the season, Vettel did not win any races in 2016. 2017 to 2018. Championship challenges ending in disappointment. His third season at Ferrari started with victory in Australia, his first in 18 months. The early form continued the following races, winning in Bahrain and Monaco, and finishing second in China, Russia, and Spain. In Russia, Vettel took his first pole position in 18 months, and with Raikkonen alongside him, Ferrari had their first front row lockout since the 2008 French Grand Prix. Vettel's lead at the top of the standings increased to 25 points after the Monaco Grand Prix, Ferrari's first victory at the circuit since Schumacher won there in 2001. In Azerbaijan, Vettel collided into the rear of race leader Hamilton under the safety car, accusing Hamilton of brake testing him. Moments later, Vettel pulled alongside and hit his Mercedes as they prepared for a restart, for which he received a 10-second stop-go penalty. The FIA investigated the Vettel-Hamilton incident further, but Vettel received no punishment. 
Bettle took full responsibility, issuing a public apology and committing to devote personal time over the next 12 months to educational activities across a variety of FIA championships and events. Bettle's championship lead was cut to only a single point in Great Britain, as he suffered a puncture on the penultimate lap and dropped to 7th place. Bettle started from pole in Hungary and maintained the lead. He overcame steering issues and held on for victory, which gave him a 14-point lead over Hamilton. Mercedes dominated after the summer break, and Vettel lost the championship lead at the Italian Grand Prix, which was followed by a first-lap retirement in Singapore after collision with Raikkonen and Verstappen. It was the first time in Formula One history that both Ferraris retired from the first lap of a Grand Prix. His title hopes were dealt another blow in Malaysia, as he started last following a turbo problem in qualifying. He finished in fourth place, but crashed with Williams' Lance Stroll on the cooldown lap. Neither would be penalized. More reliability issues befell Ferrari in Japan as Vettel retired due to a spark plug failure. In Mexico, Vettel became the fourth driver in Formula One history to claim 50 pole positions. Verstappen took the lead from Vettel at the start before Vettel collided with Hamilton, after which Hamilton won his fourth title. For the first time in his career, Vettel failed to win the World Drivers' Championship, having led it at some stage during the season. The 2018 season was dubbed the Fight for Five by the media as for the first time in Formula 1 history, two quadruple world champions lined up at the start of a season. For the second consecutive year, Vettel began the season with a victory in Australia after he took the lead while pitting under the virtual safety car. It was his 100th podium, while he also became only the third man in Formula 1 history to have led 3,000 laps. In Bahrain, Vettel maintained the lead from pole, through the first round of pit stops and held off Mercedes' Valtteri Bottas despite being on old soft tires to take a fourth victory at the circuit. At the Chinese Grand Prix, he was hit by Verstappen in the latter stages of the race, which caused both to spin. Vettel limped home in eighth place, with his championship lead reduced to nine points. For the first time since 2013, Vettel took three consecutive pole positions as he qualified in first place in Azerbaijan. It was the 23rd different Grand Prix at which he had taken pole position, equaling Hamilton's record. At the Canadian Grand Prix, Vettel won for the third time in 2018 and for the 50th time in his career, becoming only the fourth man to reach a half-century of wins. The following race in France, Vettel lost the championship lead following a collision with Bottas. He bounced back in Great Britain after he passed Bottas in the last laps to take victory. Vettel led his home race until he slid off the track and hit the wall in the latter stages as rain started to fall, as he had clipped the sausage curb a few laps before, breaking a part of his front wing, causing understeer and loss of downforce. He won in Belgium, however, in which he passed Hamilton for the race victory. Contact on the opening lap with Hamilton in Italy saw Vettel damage his front wing and drop to the back of the field, but he recovered to cross the finishing line in fourth place. It left Vettel 30 points behind the Mercedes driver with seven races left. His championship hopes were dealt a further blow as Ferrari's upgrades introduced at the Singapore Grand Prix proved to be unsuccessful, making a step backwards on car development. Ferrari suffered a dip of form until the United States Grand Prix, where they reverted to their old package and successfully rediscovered their form. Vettel claimed his first ever podium in Mexico, but the World Drivers' Championship went to Hamilton for a second consecutive year. Although Mercedes had been the more consistent and better team, fans and pundits criticized Vettel for making too many mistakes during the season. 2019-2020 to Difficult Ending at Ferrari After showing impressive pace throughout preseason testing in Barcelona, Vettel and his new teammate Charles Leclerc headed to Australia with many pundits believing they had the car to beat for the 2019 season. The opening weekend proved to be difficult, however, as Vettel qualified some 7 tenths off pole positions in third and finished the race in fourth place. Third place finishes in China and Azerbaijan followed as Mercedes continued to dominate. Vettel took pole position in Canada, his first pole in 17 races. Midway through the race, a snap of oversteer caused him to run wide onto the grass. Vettel received a 5 second time penalty from the stewards, who believed he had returned to the track in an unsafe manner and forced Hamilton off track. Vettel crossed the line in first place but lost his victory as a result of the penalty. After the race, he swapped the number one and two signs in front of Hamilton's Mercedes and the empty spot that was supposed for his own car, as Vettel parked his car at the start of the pit entry. 
At the German Grand Prix, Vettel was unable to qualify after a turbo issue, which meant he would start in last place. During a race with mixed weather conditions, Vettel climbed up to second place. In Italy, Vettel spun at the Ascari chicane, and when he re-entered the track, he made contact with Racing Point's stroll. Vettel received a 10-second stop-go penalty and finished in 13th place. At the Singapore Grand Prix, Vettel won on a circuit Ferrari we were expected to struggle at. For the first time, Vettel had won five times at the same track. The following race in Russia, Vettel went from third place on the grid to first place in the first corner. However, radio transmission suggested that the team wanted to swap their drivers, but with Vettel the quicker driver, he remained in front. Vettel retired soon after with a MGUK problem. Vettel took pole position in Japan, but an abrupt start off the line caused him to momentarily stop before getting away, which allowed Bottas to take the lead. Vettel was not penalized for his jump start. After running in third at the Brazilian Grand Prix for the majority of the race, a safety car allowed Red Bull's Alexander Albon and an aggressive Leclerc to overtake him. He tried to pass his teammate immediately, but the two Ferraris collided, resulting in another retirement for Vettel. He finished fifth in the World Drivers' Championship and was outscored by a teammate for only the second time across the season. Ferrari later announced they would not extend Vettel's contract beyond the 2020 season. Team principal Mattia Bonato explained there was no specific reason for the decision, though both parties noted it was an amicable agreement. The season was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic as the first 10 races of the original calendar were either rescheduled, postponed, or cancelled altogether. Ferrari discovered problems on their car following pre-season testing, forcing them to make a major redesign. The SF1000 lacked pace as Vettel finished the season's opening race in Austria in 10th place. During the weekend, he was also given a warning for breaching the FIA's COVID-19 protocols after he was seen mixing with members of his former team Red Bull. The following race at the Styrian Grand Prix, Vettel retired on the opening lap with rear wing damage following a collision with Leclerc. He ended the season in a disappointing 13th place in the driver's standings, with a third place in Turkey as his best result. Ferrari only finished sixth in the constructors' standings, their worst result since 1980, while Vettel's total of 33 points was the lowest in a full campaign in his Formula 1 career. Aston Martin, 2021 to 2022. Vettel joined Aston Martin for the 2021 season, replacing Sergio Perez. In his debut race weekend in Bahrain, he received a grid penalty in qualifying, forcing him to start last. While Vettel started well, he had a collision with Esteban Ocon, giving him a time penalty and ended up finishing in 15th place. He received five penalty points on his super license. Aston Martin team principal Otmar Safnauer reported no concerns, owing to this being a very different car from the Ferrari, lack of laps in pre-season testing, and a very impressive race start. In the fifth race of the season, Vettel scored his first points for the team with a fifth-place finish in Monaco. At the following race, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, he claimed Aston Martin's first podium with a second-place finish. Vettel also finished second in Hungary, but was later disqualified after his car failed to provide the one-liter sample of fuel required. He ended the season in 12th place in the driver's standings ahead of teammate Stroll. During the season, Vettel made 132 overtakes, the most of any driver, and won the inaugural Overtake Award. Vettel missed the first two races of the 2022 season in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia after testing positive for COVID-19. He was substituted by Aston Martin's reserve driver Nico Hulkenberg. In July 2022, Vettel announced his retirement from Formula 1 at the end of the 2022 season. Race of Champions Vettel competed in the 2007 Race of Champions at Wembley Stadium, representing the German team alongside Michael Schumacher, winning the nation's cup title. He also teamed up with Schumacher from 2008 to 2012, winning the cup on every occasion. Vettel returned to the 2015 Race of Champions, representing Germany together with Nico Hülkenberg. He won his very first individual Race of Champions title that year, beating Tom Christensen in the final. Vettel and Hülkenberg finished runner-up in the Nations Cup. In 2017, Vettel was eliminated in the first heat for the individual competition, but went on to win the Nations Cup for Germany by himself with his seventh victory, after his teammate Pascal Verlaine was injured earlier in a crash. In the 2019 event, Vettel teamed up with Mick Schumacher where they finished runners-up in the Nations Cup to the Nordic team of Christensen and Johan Stofferson. Vettel was eliminated in the group stages of the individual competition, although he won the ROC Skills Challenge. He reached the individual final in 2022 but was beaten by Sebastian Loeb. Helmet Design 
From his karting days, Vettel worked with helmet designer Jens Munzer. At the age of eight, Vettel wanted Sebastian the Crab from The Little Mermaid on his helmet. Vettel's original helmet in Formula One, like most Red Bull-backed drivers, was heavily influenced by the energy drink company logo. New to Vettel's helmet at the start of 2008 was the incorporation of the red cross shape of the Kreis Bergstrabe coat of arms on the front, just underneath the visor, in honor of the region of his birthplace, Heppenheim. After switching to Red Bull in 2009, Vettel regularly used a variety of new helmet designs. Some designs were small changes to his original Red Bull design while others were completely new designs, such as the one he used at the 2010 Japanese Grand Prix. Vettel had a special white-red helmet design, with black kanji and hiragana for give you wings. Several of his helmet designs also featured his team members. At the 2012 Italian Grand Prix, Vettel celebrated his 50th helmet design with a rusty matte look and 50 tallies, indicating his 50 helmet designs in Formula 1. Vettel started his 2013 campaign with a design in honor of Felix Baumgartner for his world record Red Bull Stratus space jump in October 2012. By the end of the 2013 season, he had used 76 different helmet designs throughout his career. For the 2017 Italian Grand Prix, he changed the German flag stripe on his helmet to an Italian flag stripe in celebration of Ferrari's home race. Following the death of Dicky Lauda, Vettel wore a special helmet based on Lauda's final Ferrari helmet at the 2019 Monaco Grand Prix. Car Names Inspired by American bomber pilots in the Second World War, Vettel has made it a tradition to name his cars. He said it's important to have a close relationship with a car. Like a ship, a car should be named after a girl as it's sexy. The car he drove for his first full season in 2008, the Toro Rosso STR3, was named Julie, followed by Kate and Kate's Dirty Sister, 2009, Luscious Liz and Randy Mandy, 2010, Kinky Kylie, 2011, Abby, 2012, and Hungry Heidi, 2013. Vettel's car for 2014, the Red Bull RB10, was baptized Susie. Vettel continued this tradition with Ferrari and christened his 2015 Ferrari SF15-T Eva, followed by Margarita 2016, Gina 2017, Gloria 2018, Lena 2019, and Lucila 20, uh, 2020. In 2021, he named his Aston Martin AMR21 car after Honey Rider, a character from the James Bond film Dr. No. Comparison to Michael Schumacher Vettel's unexpected win at the 2008 Italian Grand Prix led the media to dub him the Baby Shumi. He was not just dubbed this for his nationality, but also because of his driving style, his concentration, and the hands-on role he plays behind the scenes with his team of engineers. Vettel played down the comparison, stating he wanted to be the new Vettel. Nevertheless, the similarities weren't marked. Like Schumacher, Vettel grew up in a small town with an everyday background. Schumacher's father is a bricklayer, and Vettel's is a carpenter. Both had their first taste of racing at the Kerpen Karting Track near Cologne, not far from the Nürburgring. Vettel began driving in his garden, lapping the garden many times before he could legally take to the roads, and said his passion for cars was nurtured by watching Schumacher compete. After winning his first championship in 2010 and being hailed as the next Schumacher, Vettel stated he did not want to aim for Schumacher's record after learning how hard it was to get one championship under his belt though he would like to win more. In 2011, Pirelli director Paul Hembury was impressed when Vettel was the only driver to take the time to visit the factory and talk to the tire manufacturer to gain a better insight. The only other driver that asks us a lot of questions is Michael Schumacher. It is like seeing the master and the protege at work. After Schumacher was severely injured in a skiing accident in late 2013, Vettel was on hand to collect the Millennium Bambi Award, for Schumacher's life achievements on his behalf in 2014. In 2014, Vettel cited Schumacher as one of his inspirations in becoming a Scuderia Ferrari driver. When I was a kid, Michael Schumacher in the red car was my greatest idol, and now it's an incredible honor to finally get the chance to drive a Ferrari. Activism Vettel has demonstrated an interest in the environment and other social justice issues. Following the 2021 British Grand Prix, he helped remove litter from the stands, and he also worked with children in Austria to build a hotel for bees. Furthermore, Vettel has been critical of how F1 races are scheduled, stating that races that are geographically proximate to each other should be held on consecutive weekends, 
to reduce emissions from traveling. He also held an all-women karting event during the weekend of the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and wore the pride flag at the 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix despite being reprimanded. Following the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, Vettel expressed an intent to boycott the September's Russian Grand Prix had the race gone ahead as planned. In May 2022, he appeared on the BBC One political topical debate program Question Time to discuss a variety of issues including climate change, energy dependency, and Brexit. The following month, Vettel appeared on the cover of Attitude, voicing support for an LGBTQ driver competing in Formula One. In June 2022, while participating in the Canadian Grand Prix, Vettel denounced Canada's mining of the Alberta oil sands by wearing a t-shirt and helmet patch calling it clim Canada's climate crime. Alberta's premier, Jason Kenney, called it over-the-top hypocrisy because Vettel's team, Aston Martin, is sponsored by petroleum company Saudi Aramco, which he said has one of the worst climate emissions records in the world. Vettel agreed with the hypocritical label, but said those personal attacks risk missing what he called the bigger picture of the climate crisis. Honors. Vettel was named Rookie of the Year at the annual Auto Sports Awards in 2008. In 2009, Vettel was awarded the Lorenzo Bandini Trophy for his achievements in the 2008 season. He was also awarded the 2009 British Racing Drivers Club Johnny Wakefield Trophy for setting the fastest lap of the season on the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. In 2010, he was voted German Sports Personality of the Year and won the International Racing Driver category at the Autosport Awards. He also won the category the following three years, in January 2012, Vettel was honored with the Grand Prix de l'Académie des Sports for being the double consecutive Formula One world champion at the age of 24, winner of 11 Grand Prix out of 19. In February, he was further honored with the Silbernes Lorberblatt in recognition of his world titles and his exemplary character. Vettel was also voted Formula One Driver of the Year in 2009, 2011, and 2013 by the team principals initiated by the Autosport magazine. He additionally won the DHL Fastest Lap Award in 2009, 2012, and 2013. He became European Sports Person of the Year by the International Sports Press Association in 2010 and by the Polish Press Agency in 2012 and 2013. Furthermore, Vettel was named the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year in 2013. In 2014, he was named Sportsman of the Year at the Laureus World Sports Awards. In 2015, he received the Confartigianato Motori Award for Driver of the Year. Red Bull Racing sponsor Infinity released a Sebastian Vettel edition of the Infinity FX SUV for 2012. It featured increased engine power, revised bodywork, and lower suspension than the standard model. Now we got some tables we're just going to go past. I'm not going to read all of these tables out especially not the complete Formula 1 results. And then we will have his Formula 1 records. I will read those out real quick. Most pole positions in a season, most laps led in a season, most consecutive wins, most consecutive grand slams, most wins from pole position in a season, youngest Grand Prix pole position winner, youngest driver to score a double, pole position in race win, youngest driver to score a hat trick, pole position race win and fastest lap. Youngest Formula One World Drivers Champion. Youngest World Drivers Championship runner-up. Shortest time elapsed before gaining a penalty. Thank you so much for listening or watching right to the end. I actually do something called Wikipedia Audiobook, which is why I was doing this one today. I really wanted to read Sebastian Vettel's Wikipedia article, but give it a little bit of time before, or give it a little bit of time after he had retired for it to get updated to include all those facts. Uh, I really do enjoy reading these. I hope you go check out Wikipedia Audiobook. And if you're on Wikipedia Audiobook watching this, because I'm also going to be posting it there, please also check out Fiends, which is my Formula One channel. And Bertram Lauritsen, you say this was the best 50 minutes of your life. Well, you know what? Heck, uh, now that I'm done reading the article, we can uh, stick around for a little bit. If you were wondering why I do that, it's, again, because I wanted to... Uh, I did this because I wanted to read Sebastian Vettel's Wikipedia article. I've read so many Wikipedia articles recently, and it is nice to read something on a topic that I'm actually really interested in. Actually, you know what? It has uh, been about an hour of reading this, and I've been drinking water this whole time, 
But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure to check out my Patreon. Uh, for my first 500 patrons that sign up, you will get access to all the tiers and benefits of anything I ever put on Patreon ever, even if in future I make more expensive uh, tiers for the $5 tier uh, that you get as an OG subscriber. By supporting the channel, you will get access to everything forever, and I will love you forever. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check out my other videos. I've released some compilations uh, cut from the Race Weekend Update videos. So I've done all of the Canadian ones, and then I also cut all of the Ferrari jokes and published that one today. The video is called Ferrari, Ferrari is a Joke, or Ferrari was a joke in 2022. I can't remember. And thanks so much again.